They are theories that propose that the planets formed from material ejected from the Sun or a companion star during an encounter with another object. Although the first such theory by de Buffon in 1745 postulated that a comet collided with the Sun, most later theories have invoked an approach to collision involving another star, protostar, or a giant molecular cloud. One of the earliest theories for the formation of the planets was called the Encounter Hypothesis. In this scenario, a rogue star passes close to the Sun about 5 billion years ago. Material, in the form of hot gas, is tidally stripped from the Sun and the rogue star. This material fragments into smaller lumps which form the planets. This hypothesis has the advantage of explaining why the planets all revolve in the same direction from the encounter geometry, and also provides an explanation for why the inner worlds are denser than the outer worlds. Variations on these ideas postulate that the encounter took place between a passing star and a binary companion star to the Sun. This overcomes one objection to most encounter theories. That material ejected from the Sun could not enter near circular orbits at the observed planetary distances. However a remaining major problem with all these ideas is that most of the material drawn out from the Sun or its postulated companion would have stayed very close to the parent object. Also any material ejected at stellar temperatures would not condense but would expand violently and dissipate into space before it could form planets. However, there are two major problems for a theory of this type. One is that hot gas expands, not contracts. So lumps of hot gas would not form planets. The second is that encounters between stars are extremely rare. So rare as to be improbable in the lifetime of the universe 15 billion years.